Woo woo! Hey, hey, hey everybody, it's Debbie Stroud. I'm coming to you today. Yesterday was a life day, I'm telling you what. <laughs> I missed yesterday and I can't believe that I missed it. But anyway, today we're going to make up for it and I'm going to, this is art hack number, I think this is four? Art hack number four. I'm going to put all of these together in a compilation video after I get finished and make it available. Um, so anyway, today, um, hey Lashish, today I'm going to show you a couple of art hacks that are, hey Melissa, that are, let me get, just get rid of that. I just watched Lashish's live video. We kind of cheer each other on. And um, I understand, Lashish, how these scrolling things kind of distract you. So I'm going to show you a really quick, easy way to draw. Somebody contacted me the other day and they said, you know, I keep trying to draw mugs and I keep trying to draw flower pots and they just don't turn out. So I'm going to flip my thing. I'm going to show you my sketchbook here. So here's how people normally draw a mug something like that right and they say oh that doesn't look right what is the deal okay so when you draw a mug there are a couple of things couple of rules that you have to remember one is that you can draw the sides straight but when you get ready to draw the bottom the bottom is never okay so a regular mug is flat but when you draw it on a flat surface it is not it's going to be rounded just like that rounded and instead of drawing this what it looks like when you look at things in space when they go back into space you're gonna draw a long skinny oval you see that long skinny oval now look at the difference between this and I don't know why this keeps going out of focus look at the difference between this and this there's a big difference now let me show you something else when you're drawing something like this and I've talked about the contours before contours so contours when you okay so say example you buy a coloring book and it has a pumpkin oh there it is coloring book and it has a pumpkin right usually what it is is the outline of a pumpkin right the outline and it has a little sections of that right and it might have a little deal like that or whatever that's called the contour or the outline of the pumpkin when you buy a coloring book that's what it's called artists call that contour drawings it's just the outside contours and people color in the inside right so over here the contours let me go back the contours go along whatever this object is right so if I'm drawing a mug and I want to make this look a little bit more realistic I can draw a few lines that go along the contours of that mug see how much different this looks than this I'm drawing straight lines this is straight this is curved this is how things look in real life right so if I want to make this little, even a little more realistic, I can ground it. That's what I call. And I, all I'm doing is I'm drawing a little bit of a shadow, and that's too much for that mug. So I'm drawing a little bit of a shadow, then kind of smear it just a little bit. And la la, that thing is not just, it's not just hanging out in space. It's on a table. So you could even draw wherever it is, it's grounded right instead of just letting it go out in space now another thing that you can do is shade this in and you're again you're going around the contours right just shade that in a little darker there and you've got some steaming hot coffee going on see that contour that back wall steaming hot coffee you may even want to draw some you know steam coming up off of it right so taking that same thing if you're gonna draw a flower pot you know I'm gonna turn it this way for that cuz I need a little bit more room okay so if I'm drawing a flower pot the flower pots a little different because the edges are gonna be or the sides are gonna come in right so I'm gonna draw that rounded part of the bottom of it okay and then I'm going to give it that roundedness up here right and then you know how flower pots have a little bit of a lip 
let's give a little bit of that lip and then we're going to erase this remember the other day i said draw light till you get it right draw light till you get it right and that's what i'm talking about you draw really lightly and then you can erase things and it's very easy to erase so okay i'm going to go ahead and give it a few contours this these lines are curved because we want to give the illusion of this thing being curved right so there it is now I can draw the other part of this flower base I'm going to come through and just go ahead and round it out a little bit now here's how this works if I want to draw something in it there's a kind of a plant that I draw I don't know I don't even know how I how I learned how to do this but here's how this goes and I hope that this gets it I'm going to come up and out down and then every time I'm going to draw up, I'm just drawing like big, um, long triangles. And can you tell this is a continuous line? I'm not stopping. I teach my kids to do this and they're like, whoa. And it just kind of has a mind of its own. And when it gets up to it's smaller, I just kind of round it out like that. Okay. At that point in time, you can give it, make a flower on the end of it. You can get really, really, uh, uh, creative and just draw some really weird little little alien deals here you might even want to draw like a, a little butterfly you know here it's kind of on it whatever but down here you're gonna come back to the back because we're not finished with this I don't know why this thing keeps coming out of focus we're going to go up and over and draw this back lip right now these lines become really important because the lines are going to dictate where uh, if things are pushed forward or if things are pushed back in your drawing so we're going to erase this again draw light till you get it right i'm going to bring this plant all the way down okay and it looks like it's right on the lip of this pot right and then i'm going to bring this down all right kind of looks like it's on the lip of this pot hang in there trust me because here we go we are going to go ahead and shade this a little bit and remember i told you about the contours the other day we're going to go through here and we're going to shade this it's going to get darker around the lip of this pot okay we're going to shade this really dark where the dirt is again i'm going around the contours I'm not just doing this number and I'm not just going up and down. Whatever the contour is, that is how you fool the eye. All drawing is, is, is it's an optical illusion. That's it. Drawing is an optical illusion. You are fooling the eye into thinking that it's something that it's not. Now, what am I going to do about this here because it looks like it's right up against that pot? Well, there are a couple things I can do. I can give it a little bit of a shadow here. So all of a sudden, when I give this a shadow, it pushes that plant back. Do you see that? It's magic. It's called art magic. Art mojo. Now, where things meet or where they overlap, there's always a small shadow. So I'm going to come through here and I'm going to shade this just a little. And all of a sudden, this leaf is pushed back. You see that? It's pushed back into space. I didn't do anything other than giving this a little bit. I, and I'm just drawing with a regular pencil. Just a regular pencil that you'd buy at the store. I'm not using anything that's, that people don't have. So these two meet, right? And so I'm going to give it a little bit of a shadow right there. This is like freaking magic. <laughs> I'm going to go through here. And everywhere where these meet, I'm going to give it a little bit of a shadow. I'm not going to finish the whole thing, but look. You've just turned some regular lines into something that looks three-dimensional. And just for the sake of time, always, 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 always go through here and give this a ground. Attach it to something so it isn't just hanging out in space. I can remember turning in one of my first drawing assignments in college and remember that... Um, Remember that I told you I went to college at age 40. Oh, look at me. No makeup and everything. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the real me. Uh, it's called summer vacation. <laughs> I went to college at age 40 and I didn't have any drawing lessons. I didn't, I, 
I had never drawn before. So I'm learning along with the people that had been there and had been doing art all along. And I can remember one of the times that I turned in a drawing and it wasn't a bad drawing, but my professor gave it back to me and he said, if I had wanted you to draw something floating, I would have asked you and I had no clue what he meant. And so he showed me the concept. Let me turn this back around again. He showed me the concept of how to draw something to make it look like it's grounded. It's attached to something, right? This is hanging out. This is attached. This is attached. You can tell that this is sitting down on something, right? So, there is my art hack for the day. My other life hack is to do something today that takes you only one minute to make yourself happy. Think right now. What can you do that brings happiness to your life in one minute? For me, it would be getting a hug for my grandkids. That is, that only takes about 10 seconds, but that brings me so much happiness. Um, being with my kids, getting a hug or a kiss from my husband. Um, every time I go out to the mailbox, and I'm going to post a picture of it later, my favorite flowers are daisies. And there are some beautiful daisies that are blooming right out by my mailbox. Also, I've got something going on with hummingbirds right now. See, it used to be that when I saw animals over and over and over again, I would just think it was coincidence. I don't believe there's anything. I don't believe in coincidence anymore. So when I see animals that appear to me over and over and over I pay attention because I know that there's something that the universe is trying to tell me. There's something that spirit is trying to show me or spirit is trying to tell me. So I don't know if you can see this. I've got um, hummingbird feeders up here. You can see my hummingbird feeders and I've got my ferns and I've got a hummingbird feeder over here. And actually, I love this porch. It's one of my Zen places. Let me show you just this is my water fountain and I've got my stuff up here right but as I sit here in my chair and I look up at this hummingbird feeder yesterday I was sitting here and the hummingbird came up like a foot in front of me and it just it just stood there not stood but it was just it was just hanging there in midair I mean it wasn't even more than a foot from my body and I looked up and I said hey what what's going on with you and he just he got a little closer and he flew off this morning there are three of them three hummingbirds and they're all flying in here on the porch I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna do some meditating about that later and I'm gonna find out anyway so hummingbirds give me great happiness I love them do something today that brings you happiness and joy it will make all the difference in the world it only takes about 10 seconds I love you we're almost through this week have a great day I'll see you tomorrow